cool. I'll tell you what, that feels weird. Well guys, uh, this is the first time I've done a video like this for ages. This is actually a um, a retro, a real retro unboxing. Now unfortunately, before I actually go into the video, I started filming this and started unboxing the product and I realized my camera wasn't on. So I'm not gonna go back and act like I was really surprised when I started to unbox it because I'll feel a bit of a tit, even though you guys wouldn't know, but I'll know and, and yeah. It won't be the same, it won't be the same. But, very, very quickly, after watching a fellow YouTuber's uh, recent YouTube video, um, Sega, what's he called himself nowadays? Sega Socks, um, uh, Darren, I, he, he'd recently bought a, a Nedcon, which is a, one of these weird, uh, sort of analog controllers at the time where there was no analog controllers out for the PlayStation 1 and this device actually came out at the same time I'm pretty sure at the same time that the uh, that PlayStation 1 was launched in Japan and and one of the launch titles was uh, was Ridge Racer and this controller was compatible with the original Ridge Racer so I saw his video and and I thought right that's a device I've always wanted or, or uh, I wouldn't say I've always wanted it if I'd always wanted it I would have gone out and bought it but it it was a device that I was quite interested in getting um but never got around to doing that so after seeing his video and I was a bit bored I thought oh, I'll just have a quick look on eBay and see what the prices are like and I managed to get one for $21.99 on a buy it now actually um, and he said it came in a box and I thought oh, okay then I'm you know not, not I'm that bothered about boxes or anything but I thought okay for 22 quid it you know it looks it looks all right and I don't think it gave any pictures of the Nedcon itself it was just the box so I, I thought oh look if it turns out to be a turd for 22 quid I'm not really that bothered you know in respect of the of the of the actual product itself uh, condition wise but anyway so I went off and bought it it was delivered to me um, uh, this week actually I think I think it came this week so I'm doing a video on it now but it may take several weeks for this video to go up on YouTube so it'll be some time since I've actually bought the device but anyway so I've just started unpacking it like I said I'd, I'd started filming and I'd realized that, uh, that the camera was on pause and then switched off I hadn't actually started recording what an idiot um, but I started opening the box and uh, all the package and I got the box out and it was a pretty good condition box actually I'm not into boxes I'm not like some of you guys out there and I'm not going to mention names but some of you guys know who um, I'm taking a piss each to their own uh, but I saw that and I thought okay that's in a pretty good condition that is I mean these are how old are they? It'd be, it's quite getting on for 30 years old, isn't it, I suppose? When did the PlayStation 1 come out? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's certainly over 20 years old. Well, over 25 years old, isn't it? So, But I thought, oh, that's in pretty good nick, that is. In fact, it's in really good nick for something of that age. And then I opened it up, and, uh, and I'd seen all the cardboard inserts in there as well, and I thought... Well, that looks like the original packaging. And you got the original Nedcon notes and, you know, and all that. I thought, okay, yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right. And, of course, it got the cardboard insert in there and everything. And all that looked pretty good condition and, you know, virtually brand new. And I took the Nedcon out. And lo and behold, it is brand new. It's, this is new old stock. I can't believe the person didn't put this on the advert. They'd have got much more for it, I'm absolutely sure. Um, yeah, new old stock guys. Couldn't believe it. And I was quite, and, and doing this on video, or I thought on video, it was actually on pause, I was, uh, I was beaming from here to here, but I've, obviously I can't replicate that again, but, and I'm not gonna try to, but yeah, so it's still got the, uh, the old uh, twist 
Dubri, whatever you call them. Twist sticks they call them in America, I don't know what we call them. Twist ties, tie, yeah, whatever. Uh, but the cable has definitely never been undone. And on further inspection, I could see that it's got the original uh, baggie on it uh, for the controller and and the sellotape seal on that has never been broken. This is a virgin new old stock at Necon. Can't believe it for £22. I mean, that must be the bargain of a century. And I was just about to go on and say on the previous video that I thought I'd done that, that at times you can get real good deals on eBay and really good things on eBay. Uh, you don't always get st stitched up and everything. So, I do feel a bit sort of, um, you know, I feel like a bit of a criminal actually opening this because it is a brand new controller. But I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it carefully so I don't knacker anything up as we go to the original wrapping. But, I mean, how, how cool is that though? After all these years of wanting one, I've managed to get one off eBay that is new old stock. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Yeah? I mean, that's been untouched by human hands. Look at that. Boston Steve Austin, this is. Chuffed to bits with that. Even if the controller's shit for 22 quid, new old stock, I'm chuffed to bits. Ooh, I'll tell you what, that feels weird. Ooh. Well, what I'm doing there was actually, I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Well, I knew it turned, but uh, I've gone... We've got orange again. The bloody white balance on this is gash. Um, yeah, look at that. It, I thought that was going to be more sort of ratchety or, or, or not smooth, but it's very, very smooth, that is. Right, the idea behind that, and it's quite a weighty controller, to be honest. It really is quite a weighty controller. Right, so the idea behind that is that it's an analogue controller for racing games effectively so for ridge racer as you turn it you should be steering the car but of course you can you can do it on a much finer level than what you can do with digital pad uh, which is all the playstation came with so it should be a lot better to actually actually control it just seems a bit weird when you're going you know you're going to be going like that but i suppose you just turn one it doesn't really matter which one you turn so you've got the old hoofers at the top i don't know yeah the original playstation had had top bumpers didn't it so you got your d-pad as per normal start and then the action buttons really so yeah I, I, I'm, I'm so chuffed I, I am genuinely chuffed with this I really am I really am genuinely chuffed with this unbelievable find really I think especially for the cash like I say, you normally get raped on eBay, don't you, for things that are new old stock, especially retro stuff. Can't believe that. But yeah, so uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not banging on about it, but I'm really, really chuffed with that. Really, really chuffed. So anyway, and we need to see what this thing's like, don't we? Now it plays, and you know, so I've got me, I've got me PlayStation Ridge Racer. I try. This game is just, I'm, I'm going to reminisce again on this, and I've actually done a previous video. Oh, crap, I'm going to have to do something about this white balance. It's not great, is it? Can I do anything if I touch, touch the screen? Does it do anything? No, if I go like that. Oh, that's, that's nice. Is that going to, no? Do I have to sit back a bit and it sort of tones it? No, 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 no. Well, I could get another light out, but there's no point because I'm going to go to some video. Um, video? This is video. I'm going to go to actually showing the game on a CRT, so it's a bit irrelevant, I suppose, it's in, in some respect. But, yeah, I mean, I... Ridge Racer and the PlayStation 1 really holds a lot of, um, of, of, of nostalgia for me because I still, I still remember that feeling. I, sorry, I'll just smash me mic then so it's probably uh, deafened you um i still remember seeing this game i still remember having the console and the month it came out in japan had it delivered over here in the uk and i remember i i got at the time i had a toshiba 29 inch crt in the living room um and i was just sitting there on the sofa just watching the track sequence it it was that you know 
it was that awesome to see. Um, I, I, you know, it it was it was uh, yeah, it was stunning. It was an absolute stunning game to look at, and it and it was a real game changer at the time. I mean, it really was um, uh, for consoles in respect of the technology of consoles that were hitting the market at that point, and and it was yeah, absolutely unbelievable. But I'll probably I'll probably bore you with a bit more uh, reminiscing when we see this all set up and actually work it and see and I'll tell you how it plays and, and, and what it feels like so so we'll cut to that now and I'll see you in a second right hopefully the battery won't run out and there's not actually that much battery left but it is what it is so now if we go to the options um, it does pick it up so he knows he's got a neg con uh, connected and you can change the different types. We'll leave that as it is. Uh, brake accelerate and obviously your twister is the. Uh, and, ooh, it even look, it even knows you're twisting. Ooh. Anyway, so let's come out of that. Let's come out of that. Right, so let's go course select. We'll go for the standard course automatic. See what this is like. <laughs> Can't beat this on a CRT. Oh, actually, yeah, the, the ah. Oh, this is weird. Okay. Oh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Oh yeah. This is going to take some getting used to. Oh, this is weird. Well, obviously, you're not used to playing it, are you, with one of these controllers? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really struck on this, to be honest. It's judging the the. Um, it is pretty sensitive, to be honest. Oh. Oh, gee. Look, this is really sensitive. It's probably something that once you get used to it, I bet it's awesome. This is making me look a right turkey, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's quite. This is quite. I mean, this is this bad. I, I actually feel like throwing up a bit. Because <laughs> it's screams all over the shop. Yeah. Um. I think that might take a few goes to actually getting used to it, to be honest. Um, it is very, very weird. It, it really is, because it, it's it's not... It's not mega intuitive, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, it's a bit weird, that is. I'll, um... Yeah. Well, 
you know, it was only 22 quid. It was new old stock, so I might actually just throw that upstairs and laugh, to be honest. Weird. The, uh, someone else had got me as well, is the accelerator, or what this is being configured for, the accelerator and the, and the brake, which are these two buttons here. It's a massive throw on them, like a, like a real log. Um, and I wonder if they're, um, I wonder if they're analog as well. They feel that they might be because they, Three, two, yeah. One, go! Oh no! See, it actually disables the. Um, it's just so twitchy. It is quite twitchy, and there was no sensitivity or anything you could alter. I must admit, when I saw these when they first come out, I thought, yeah, that looks a bit weird. Yeah, it's not like a digital pad, which is crazy actually, but it's what you get used to, isn't it? Who'd have thought that a digital pad would be any good on a racing game like this, when you're supposed to have a steering wheel? It's just, yeah. Anyway, guys. Um, I'll leave that there. Hopefully it has uh, been of some use to you, even if it's just to see how crap the controller really is in a racing game. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video guys, and I'll speak to you again soon.